Straight ahead on the Valley today, are you ready for school? Summer is still stinging us with hot weather, but now is also the time to start thinking about getting those kids ready for the classroom. Plus, you know what they say about karma. One man says he's paying the price big time after holding off on the COVID vaccine. But first, breaking news overnight. Police are asking for help finding a missing Fargo boy. 12 year old Caden Kinney was reported missing by his family. He's described as about 410, one or 410, 100 pounds. He might be wearing a red t shirt and blue jeans. Picture on your screen. Contact the Red River Dispatch if you have any information about him. That number is 701 451 7600. As summer gets closer to the end, a new school year, it's fast approaching. Where did our summer go? <laughs> no. Essentia Health, happens. it always does go quickly. Essentia Health is providing a convenient way for you to get your child in to see a doctor for those annual well child or sports physicals. The Valley Today's Brian Sherrod joins us live this morning with more. Good morning, Brian. And good morning, Jordan and Lisa. I know the kids aren't ready for the big S word yet, which is school, but I know the other S word, sports, a lot of kids are looking forward to that. But you want to get that mandatory sports physical so that you can play a sport. But in general, you want to check on your being. This is for anyone between the ages of birth to 21 years old. Now, when you go in for your pediatric visit, first you're going to do your physical exam. Your child will receive necessary shots like vaccinations for HPV, meningitis, or COVID-19. You can track your child's growth, development, and behavior. Talk about illness protection, nutrition, and physical health, and how to handle emergencies and sudden illness with any mental health concerns. And when it's age appropriate, discuss substance abuse, proper dieting, and sexual health. Any adult would, would agree that being a teenager is difficult. It takes a lot of uh, support and other loving, caring adults in their lives to help teens learn how to grow and to be successful. And this is just another way that you can have another caring adult be a part of their lives. Now, each appointment can take between 30 to 40 minutes. There is an upcoming Moorhead School Board meeting to talk about the Delta variant surging and what schools are doing to keep everyone safe. That meeting is going to be at 5 this afternoon. Now, for the virtual link to see the school board meeting and also to sign up as Essentia so you can get your back-to-school physicals, back-to-school well checks, you can find it on valleynewslive.com. Lisa and Jordan, I'm going to toss it back to you for now. Brian Sherrod reporting live. Thank you for that update. And so what can we expect weather wise today? Well, an air quality alert still in effect. Lisa Green has all the information. Yeah, the forecast is getting very repetitive. I know lots of folks getting sick of this and we do have some relief coming our way here. So first of all, we do have to get out the door. We have to get through today and here's a view in Grand Forks at home of economy. You can see that smoky sunrise happening here. There are also some clouds, uh, but there are places that we are dealing with some unhealthy healthy air quality, including in Grand Forks and in the FM area. I-94 near Dilworth, you could see a bit of that haze on this DOT cam as well. I've been keeping a close eye on that one. Our air quality monitor indicating that we have some uh, conditions that are unhealthy for several places in the valley. And here's an alert for Grand Forks. You are now included in the red, and that means you are also in that unhealthy category here, including Fargo, back over into some of our counties into Minnesota, including including Becker and Otter Tail County back up into parts of Polk. And that's what we're looking at uh, the air quality affecting you as we are basically anybody who happens to be outdoors today. So it's something to keep in mind everywhere else right now. It looks like we're more in that unhealthy for sensitive groups category. A little step down, but still affecting some of us. Here's a look at our visibility. This gives us that idea of just how thick that smoke happens to be at the surface. Langdon down to two miles visibility, so that's a change. Grand Forks is at three. We're at two and a half in Wapaton. Not so bad at the airport in Fargo on the north end of town. And your air quality alert, we're going to be experiencing some smoke through the day today. So it's going to be variable. It's going to fluctuate again, uh, but we're under that air quality alert in Minnesota until three o'clock this afternoon. Current conditions, temperatures are bad. We're into the 50s and 60s. It's 63 in Devil's Lake. It is 62 in Fargo. It's 61 in Grand Forks and 55 in Bemidji. So radar satellite map again showing some conditions that are pretty quiet across the tri-state area. So stepping out the door this morning and through the rest of the day, here's what you can expect. Temperatures starting again 50s and 60s and then we'll watch those numbers climb pretty quickly. Lunchtime into the low 80s. This afternoon we'll be back into some mid 80s to some low 90s and hazy conditions continue. Here's the good news. Multiple reasons for this because 
we're going to see some rain and thunderstorms move in for Wednesday afternoon and evening. So we get that chance for rain starting up and it lasts through the weekend into the weekend, but also that will help to clear out some of that smoke too. So a couple of uh, good things coming our way. Just have to get through today. All right, Lisa, thank you this morning. A jury selection, it's now underway and expected to last one more day before opening arguments in the trial of a North Dakota chiropractor accused of killing four people. On day one, prosecutors asked potential jurors how they would handle gruesome evidence. Chet Isaac is charged with shooting and stabbing four people at RJR Maintenance and Management back in 2019. It's considered one of the most gruesome crimes in state history. We have new details this morning on a Minnesota murder as the search continues for the man suspected of killing his wife. There is a nationwide arrest warrant now for Eric Reinbold for the murder of his wife, Lizette, and he is now charged with second degree murder. Authorities say one of the victim's boys said they last saw their mother crying because Reinbold accused her of being unfaithful. Investigators say they reached Reinbold's phone and found text messages accusing his wife Lizette of cheating, demanding sex from her and fighting over their finances. An autopsy revealed Lizette suffered multiple sharp force injuries to her neck, torso and upper extremities. A Fergus Falls man is in jail for child abuse after he admitted to repeatedly slamming a child's head into a wall. Police found a boy with a head injury in their home. Reggie Bethel first told police that the boy was cleaning up dog urine and slipped. But the boy's mother later told police that Bethel repeatedly banged the child's head into the floor in the wall and that Bethel regularly does that to the child to discipline him. Bethel later admitted to lying and tried to get the boy's mother to do the same. That boy, he underwent surgery to relieve bleeding and swelling in the brain. There's no word this morning on his current condition. A Fargo chiropractor has not been home for the last five days. He remains hospitalized in fighting COVID-19 and double pneumonia. Daniel Pozarnski took to Facebook last week as he got to the hospital saying karma got him and that he wished he would have gotten the vaccine. His girlfriend is pleading with the community to get vaccinated before it's too late. Now, she also says while intubation isn't needed yet, Pazarnski does use a machine to help him breathe and says it's unknown how long his road to recovery could last. We have breaking news right now. Simone Biles conquered the twisties today and stuck the landing. She took bronze in the beam today. The twisties, you may recall, we have just learned about this, the terrifying mental disorientation. It had put Biles in a holding pattern and shattered her hopes of six gold medals at the Tokyo Games. But a week after taking herself out of several competitions to focus on her mental health, Biles drilled a slightly altered routine that ended with a double pike dismount with no twisting required. And Biles took home the bronze. So where does Team USA stand when it comes to the overall medal count? Well, you can catch that every day on our Valley News Live website. Just go up to the top banner and click on the medal count tab. It should pull up here in just a few seconds. Scroll on down just a bit and you'll see it listed by country. We're going to show more there. Team USA, we are sitting at at the top spot. However, we are tied with China this morning. So we currently have 22 gold medals, 32 gold medals for China. So when it comes to gold medals, they are currently number one on the board. However, you look at these numbers right here, 68 and 68. That's our total that both of us have. In silver, the United States is taking the lead 27 to 20. In bronze, we're also taking the lead. That is 19 to 16. Going after China is the Russian Olympic Committee with 52. So almost 10 less there. But remember, you can catch all the Olympic coverage right here on KVLY. Okay, let's get our answer now to our question of the morning on Facebook. Today's question, 20% of single people say they are looking for someone who is passionate about this. The answer, mm, I think we can all agree we want to be passionate about this. It's food. Because I want to marry someone who will cook for me. That's the best thing. Remember, you can play along every day. The Today Show at CBS This Morning, they're just about to start. The Valley Today, it rolls on. Join us on The CW.